iced coffee season. That looks good. Taste test. Oh yeah. So hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a brand new video. So I feel like I haven't done a sit down chatty video like this in such a long time, especially not one sat in my new house. So I did just make myself a nice coffee. It's looking quite pale because it's quite a nice milky one. I did add quite a lot of milk and then just one shot of coffee. I'm telling you that's perfect though. Bit of hazelnut syrup in there amazing once you perfect that iced coffee recipe at home you realize you don't need to be going and spending a fiver out and about you know that was doing it for me guys i feel like it's looking more paler on camera than it even is in real life trust me this does actually have coffee in it and it's doing bits mm. so how is everyone how are you doing i am in my lounge currently so most of you who probably already watch my videos we will have seen my lounge in my renovation series so i bought my first house with my fiance and we fully renovated it so if you are interested in that definitely go back and watch the renovation series it feels so nice now to be able to chill be settled in and be able to film videos like this in the house usually i feel like i would have to go and buy a starbucks sit in my car and sort of film a catch-up video like that but saving the money making the iced coffee at home doing it from my very own cute little lounge for do so myself so yeah i thought i'd film from the sofa today why not and i asked you guys for some questions over my instagram so i'll put my instagram here on screen and just in case you don't follow me and you want to be involved in videos like this in the future i usually pop like a little question box it's a good way to ask any questions you may want to know we can have a little chit chat and that's just what i thought we would do today just have a catch up because i've not filmed a video like this in such a long time and i miss just having a chat with you all answering some questions you may want to know and sipping on an iced cold coffee whilst we do so mm. Grab yourself a nice cold or warm drink, whatever takes your fancy, and let's get into some questions. Let's chat and have a big old catch up. So, first question ties in quite nicely with me talking about the house. So, it says, Do you feel settled in your new house now? So, actually, crazy enough, it has now been six months since we fully moved in. So, we started renovating March 2023, and then we moved in at the end of December 2023 so pretty much started the new year in the house so yeah it's been about six months which has absolutely flown by it feels like I don't know it's always one of those things where it's like I can't believe anyway that we're six months into the year but it does feel like it's meant to be home now like it does feel homely and I feel like I've lived I don't know like yeah it, it feels so normal and natural to me to live here that I almost do feel like it feels like it's been a long time but at the same time I also when you say six months it just seems like such a big amount of time but yeah we most definitely feel so settled I honestly feel like I felt that within such a short amount of time I don't know if it's because we obviously were doing the renovating so before we moved in we would spend most of our time at the house anyway coming and doing like renovating every single weekend like most of our time was spent here just not living here so i don't know if that almost gave me kind of like a head start to settling in and feeling like this was home i mean obviously there were times during the renovation where i couldn't imagine it being my home because it, it would still be such a mess and it was hard at times to even envision the outcome of it today but yeah because i just felt so settled in so quickly i could only sort of put it down to that and maybe it rather than just being a huge transition to one day getting your keys and moving out of your family home and into a new one we almost had that slower transition because we had the keys for what like i guess nearly nine months of renovating before actually moving in so i don't know if that maybe helped me transition a lot easier but yeah to answer the question we feel like so settled here now and yeah did in such a short amount of time like i really did wonder if i would have that such kind of like lost or like i don't know that feeling that i know some people do have when they move out of their family home and into living on your own and buying your first place and moving out for the first time 
especially not having I've gone to uni or anything like all I've known is living with my family at home so I did think I might struggle a little bit or just find it quite a big transition a big change but weirdly enough I actually just found the transition and change really easy I don't know if that is because I am quite an independent person anyway probably also helps that my mum and dad don't live very far away either they literally do live like five minutes down the road so i guess i'm quite lucky in that sense so i know they're really close i see them still quite regularly i did feel like i would find it harder than i did and yeah maybe that was just because i just felt so ready to move out with marcus my fiance i was so ready to finally live in the home we've been putting so much hard work into so yeah to answer the question in short we are most definitely very settled and it just feels so homely now i feel so at home here i feel so comfortable here like it just feels normal and natural to me to be here this is like my safe haven this is my comfort place so yeah we're super super happy here i love it so much and I couldn't be more grateful to have this home that we have so yeah we are very settled in we are very much enjoying living together living in the house as i say we put so much hard work into we renovated our first home first time moving out all of those feelings and all those emotions and that fun adventure we have absolutely been soaking up and just enjoying every single minute second of it like sometimes yeah it still doesn't feel real that we get to call this a home and get to live together and just like do all the adulty things which sometimes can be a pain but most of the time i do just feel like so happy and so grateful so yeah if you were wondering if i did find that change and transition hard i actually expected to more than i did i thought i would be like finding say even just like the first week so hard i thought there'd be lots of tears and lots of worries but I actually just fell into the kind of like new change really really well and easily so it's not as scary as you may think if you are a first time buyer or first time moving out of your childhood home it is fine and it's exciting and I feel like it's going to continue to feel like this still for a very long time as we still have lots of firsts to happen in this house still a few renovation bits to do so yeah. very much still on that cloud nine with the first time moving out and living in our new home so thank you for that question next one is still kind of home related it is how do you find budgeting etc now you have mortgages and bills so when it comes to that we split all the bills and the mortgage 50 50 so myself and marcus have a joint account and each month before we know all the money's coming out, we both put a set amount of money into the joint account. At the beginning, we sort of added the mortgage and the bills all together and divided by two and then sort of like decided on that set number. Obviously, there are months where that number can change. Like most of the time it is slightly a little bit lower than what we first estimated it to be. For example, that could just be for like our electric and gas could be lower, but we still tend to try and put that set amount in because then I feel like it's always good to have a little bit extra in the joint account for maybe months when it gets to the winter when the bills may be slightly higher, when we have the heating on a bit more, we're using a bit more electricity at least we'll have them savings in the accounts so i feel like that's actually quite a good tip of how to do it maybe just like keep adding the same amount in every month even if your bills are slightly lower that month still add that same amount and you'll kind of like accure a little bit of extra savings in the account so we always tend to do that and that's a good way to ensure we've got like a little bit of backup money also i just feel like we're both quite good at saving anyway like when we moved out we both were able to save quite a good amount of money for a deposit and then we also saved quite a good amount to renovate a whole house i mean obviously renovating is not cheap we've managed to renovate the whole house and still have savings left which obviously again we do also want to get married we also want to save for like holidays in the future for like next chapters in life we always thinking like we might need to save for but yeah we are still lucky enough that we don't just sort of live month to month we at the moment are still yeah lucky to have some savings left over from the renovations i mean don't get me wrong there are still a few big jobs we are going to need quite a large chunk of money for for example we want to renovate the driveway we want to do the garden we want to do a little bit of work to the exterior of the house which is going to be quite a big chunk of money so that is also why we do need savings but yeah 
at the moment because we are both quite savers anyway we don't splurge on a lot of things we are lucky enough that yeah we don't kind of need to just go month by month we do still have savings at the moment to fall back on so that works quite well in not having to worry about it each month but not that i think we would have to anyway just because of both our jobs and the way we do split things and we were quite lucky enough to get the mortgage at a time when the rates weren't crazy high we literally just kind of i'm pretty sure kind of snuck it in before the rates literally doubled so i mean the mortgage is still a hefty chunk but i'd say it's still quite reasonable as to what i'm sure unfortunately a lot of people had to pay once the interest rates did rise but yeah we've been finding it absolutely fine obviously it's not fun having to add on all the extra things like having to think about paying for food shopping every week and food shopping is not cheap but it's something you just have to do yeah very grateful for the position that we are in someone said somewhere you want to travel to so i'd probably say if we're talking like a little bit further afield like a little bit more long haul i would say i definitely would want to go somewhere in america because we've never been to america before i've never been at norris marcus and i've always said it on here i've always wanted to go to new york marcus did actually book it for my 21st birthday but then covid hit we weren't able to go and it's just something we've never rebooked but i always say i want to go but it's a really expensive trip so that is definitely somewhere i would really would like to travel to or a few other places in america to be honest i've always said it would be cool to go to like la or miami i mean a dream place i always said would be like the bahamas that looks really cool or even just like anywhere in the caribbean just somewhere with like amazing beaches really blue water lovely white sand if you know anywhere like that that you would recommend let me know because even for things like a honeymoon i actually don't know where my dream honeymoon destination would be i always always would say the Maldives which don't get me wrong I would absolutely love to still go to the Maldives but I never know if now people are just like oh it's a bit overrated I mean I guess it is like a once in a lifetime thing it would be amazing to go and see it but yeah if there's actually anywhere that you would recommend for just like a dream holiday destination or somewhere where you think would be like a really good honeymoon destination let me know because I would love to know that um anywhere else we would love to go i mean just i love european holidays like euro summer vibes is so a bit of me like there's just so many amazing places in europe that i think i would love to go even if it was just a city break or summer holiday like i feel like there's other places in greece i would love to visit maybe places in italy i feel like there's some really gorgeous places there so yeah i mean let me know your recommendations or anywhere you would absolutely love to go let me know i think for me it would be like america and just more places in europe another question leading on from holidays someone said how was your holiday so i'm presuming they obviously mean the holiday to tenerife that was unreal it was so so fun it was like the first proper kind of like family holiday we've ever done so it was myself my two sisters and their partners so six of us in total we stayed in a villa which my sister hannah found she found an absolute gem there it was unreal the villa was so stunning i'll try and get her to give me the details of it and leave it in the description just in case any of you are interested it would be perfect for like a hen do stag do just like a girl's holiday or a family trip it was in the perfect location so it was in costa adeji so close to like the main town bit with lots of shops restaurants literally a 10 minute walk from the siam water park and the siam mall which is pretty much the reason we went i can't lie we wanted to go to the siam park so badly again i've been a couple of times i went with both my sisters and then i went one time with marcus but we thought it'd be so fun to go as a whole group together if you have not been you need to it is literally rated the best water park in the world and it most definitely is it's just so fun obviously you don't get anything like that in the uk and i don't know something about a water park i just absolutely love it's like my version of a theme park like there's people that like absolutely love to go to a theme park for me it's a water park like i found that just so fun it's just a place i definitely recommend and like going to tenerife obviously it's not too far on the plane you can get a little bit of like winter sun so it's perfect to go in the kind of like earlier months of the year or the later months so yeah it was just ideal for us and yeah the villa was in an ideal location it was great price and also just the villa itself was just so so nice it was like really modern had a great pool 
a couple of bedrooms, a kitchen area, really just like clean, spacious, airy, nice decor. It was just such a vibe. We even did like one evening where we did like picky bits, barbecue food at home and like ate around the table in the villa definitely definitely recommend and we also got lovely weather so yeah all around it was just such a really fun trip and yeah it's so nice to go with my sisters and their partners it's so nice to have a really like close-knit family like my sisters mean everything to me like they are literally my best friends so I'm just so grateful to have that friendship and have that friendship with their partners as well and for my fiance to get on with them so well like I think that is just the best thing in the world because you've just always got that group of people to rely on have a great time with do anything with so yeah something in my life which means so much to me is my family and that's just something i'm so grateful for so yeah we had an unreal time to answer the question definitely recommend heading to tenerife especially for a science park trip but like, you can't go to tenerife without going to science park it's just a must so yeah we had a great time and it's definitely something we would love to do again somewhere else but Tenerife was just such a good spot so yeah it was really good thank you another little holiday question was holiday plans for the rest of the year so myself and Marcus are heading to Mallorca in July so there's like a week that kind of like runs over his birthday where we always love to do a little summer holiday and Mallorca is just my favorite place in the world it just has a special place in my heart like it's where I always used to go with my family growing up and it's just such a stunning place. It's got lovely beaches, has some really lovely resorts that are great for just like a chilled around the pool day, going to the beach, then you get to dress up for a nice dinner in the evening, you get the lovely weather, it's only a couple of hours on the plane. There's just not much you can complain about. I love Spain. I love Mallorca. It's just so a bit of me and we love it there. I haven't actually been for a couple of years, which is actually really weird for me. The last time we went was 2021, which like I'm saying, I used to go every year with my family. So not going since then is weird for me. And I'm so, so excited to go back. I feel like to me, Mallorca almost just feels like a second home, like a home from home kind of feeling. So yeah, we love it there. If you're looking for a holiday recommendation, I would always suggest Mallorca. I think it's is perfect i think you just can't go wrong with it so another home question was what renovations are left in your house so i obviously kind of touched on this just slightly so as i said we still want to do a little bit to the garden we've managed to make it look a lot nicer than it did previously now that we've got to the nicer weather obviously even just like cutting the lawn makes such a difference in doing a bit of streaming but we've also just had a nice like clear out out there so it's definitely looking a lot better than it did but we would love to just give it a good renovation like spice it up a little bit either put in some decking or like a patio we want to do like a nice pergola just make a nice area where we can sit out there in like the spring summer or summer evenings have people around we just want to make it look that little bit nicer so yeah we're thinking of doing something like that um and then although we do have a driveway just want to make it like a little bit bigger so we can fit both our cars on and then as i said the exterior there's just a few bits because the house is quite old so it never really had any work like that done to it there's just a few bits that we kind of just need to get a scaffold up for that is definitely a big job we do need to do whilst the weather is a bit nicer and then inside it is literally just the fireplace to be finished which is i think the next job on the list just because i really want this lounge to be fully finished it's like the only room in the house that's kind of missing a big thing now we've got all the, like the shelving and the cupboards done either side of the fireplace which you can see in my previous home vlog if you do want to see an update on that it will just be really nice to get the fireplace done in this room to be fully finished because i love chilling in the lounge and although it does already feel really like homey and cozy i just do think the fireplace is gonna literally like elevate it even more so i'm excited for that to be done and this room to look finally completed because it is the only thing which we obviously do spend a lot of time in this room it's the only thing that like you're constantly kind of drawn to because it does look very unfinished but i'm excited for that to be done and then i think it might be time we do finally actually get doors everywhere else in the house because we still other than this one door here have no doors in the house so that is definitely a job that we need to do it probably won't even take that long it is a job we've just been putting off and not prioritizing as i mean it's 
not really been a priority to us and then actually upstairs there's just like a couple of blinds i want to put up in my dressing room and my office so yeah those will just be small jobs it's just the big a job is the fireplace and then other than that we will be fully finished and i can't wait to be able to film a fully renovated full house tour when it is complete i'm just holding off to make sure everything is finally completed before i do bring that to you guys but that'll be a really fun video to bring to the channel another fun question i thought was what are your favorites at the moment so i'm guessing they kind of mean like just a favorite anything so i did list a few quickly down on my notes so i didn't forget just tried to think of a few random things that i am absolutely loving at the moment so first one is my summer friday lip balm so i have the vanilla one and the birthday cake one and i reach for them both just as much as each other i've literally got it on right now with just lip liner they're perfect for a handbag they're perfect for just like quickly on the go they're perfect for no makeup days makeup days they're just an absolute go-to for me although they obviously are on the little bit more pricier side for a lip balm i just feel like they're just a nice treat i love the applicator it's like a nice silicone applicator it feels so nice on the lips and they just look cute they're cute for the handbag they're cute to just like place around the home so i mean maybe if it's like a little treat for someone in a little birthday hamper that could be quite a nice treat or yeah just kind of treat yourself to one i feel like they are worth the money so i've been loving them it's what i've been reaching for the most oversized colorful tees like this i feel like everyone is loving them at the moment i feel like i got into them because i kept seeing chintzy wearing so many gorgeous ones from asos this one is in fact from asos and i just think they look really cool i feel like they look really cool with like striped shorts in summer denim shorts i've just got it on now with some denim jeans but yeah i'm loving this vibe they're comfy i feel like the colorful ones just look really cool i love adding a pop of color back into my wardrobe for spring summer and i feel like it looks a vibe in a really oversized tee so i've been loving these at the moment i feel like if you want to pick up any check out asos because they just have so many at the moment another thing i'm absolutely loving is love island i'm a love island stan every year i get so excited when it's time for love island to start again as soon as it hits june i'm buzzing for it and the new series has already got me hooked i'm absolutely loving that joey essex is in the villa i'm here for that and i'm loving the new series so far i just feel like i will always watch it i can't not i just get too hooked i'm absolutely loving home i feel like i'm just such a home girl anyway but yeah being able to have my own home to just chill in and it be my safe haven as i said i'm just loving that i love just chilled evenings at home i love having my family around i'm loving game nights at home cooking dinner at home bath times chilling in my bed watching tv of an evening all of that i just love it's just is so me a little bit of skincare i'm absolutely loving and definitely recommend is the bright reveal range from l'oreal i've been regularly using that since it came out and i do feel like i've noticed a difference in my skin it is definitely looking a lot brighter a lot smoother helping out with like a little bit of skin texture so the like serum and the uv moisturizer definitely definitely recommend makeup that i'm loving at the moment is my charlotte tilbury pillow talk wands i was kindly sent them but i am absolutely loving them i've got them on today i don't know if you can really tell from this far away but it's a gorgeous blush shade and then i've got like a highlighter kind of one and they just give you that like glow from within kind of look like just really really nice glowy skin so i'm loving them so much again worth the hype and worth the money singer that i'm loving tate mccray i've been in my tate mccray era for a long time now her new album i've still had it on repeat since it came out and it's one of those albums where i literally love every single song on it like not one song gets skipped my absolute go-to favorite from the album is we're not alike i don't know something about that song just hits different yeah just her in general she is such a vibe so she has made it onto the favorites another actual favorite of mine at the moment is libby whitehouse she's like a new and upcoming singer and i've always just like known of her because i love a bit of saffron barker i can't lie i love her vlogs i've watched her literally since i was like 14 15 since she started youtube so i've always just kind of known of libby but she's finally started to release music and she's just got 
voice of an angel like she can really sing and she's bringing out some bangers like she's bringing out the pop songs for the summer so if you haven't ever heard of her definitely check her out on spotify she's released like three songs now and, and all of them are hits i feel like they're definitely always on repeat for me also just a random song that i'm obsessed with at the moment birds of a feather by billy eilish i know everyone's saying it and everyone is loving it but i have to agree i am fully obsessed i can have that song on repeat over and over and like every day i'm like i need to listen to that song like it does something different to me it's the lyrics again her voice and just like the tune to it i'm gonna listen to it after this i just love it so much and finally the neon shower gel it is just insane specifically the scent that has the eucalyptus in it because i just love that fresh eucalyptus smell like in the morning and even in the evening to be honest you literally just need to like rub a little bit over your skin you breathe it in for about 15 seconds and it just like clears all your airways gives you that such like fresh feeling on the skin something about that i love the smell just so so much you definitely need to try that if you haven't it's up there with my recommendations and then following on from that someone said my go-to scent so i have a couple my favorite like summer perfume is definitely the kaali invite only such an unreal scent perfect for summer it gives me all the like summery feels holiday vibes it's such a nice like strong scent as well that's long lasting definitely definitely recommend that one and then for kind of just like nice bougie evening smell i love the ysl libra i think that smells unreal and then if i'm just throwing on like a body spray for every day my go-to i can't lie it's the malia spray from hollister i've always been a hollister perfume stan and that scent i've probably been wearing since i was like 14 but it still hits i still love that smell so much and then last but not least i feel like we just finished on this one it's quite a nice one to just like round it off but do i have any goals for the rest of the year so i guess it's quite a nice one to reflect on seeing as we are halfway through the year half of the year is left I don't like to set like too many goals to be honest i'm more of a kind of just like go with the flow kind of gal like don't put too much pressure on things live in the moment i quite like to do that and most of the time i quite like to just do what makes me happy like that is kind of my goal is just to be content be happy yeah kind of just like making the most of life like living it to my fullest so trying to have plans where i can but obviously as i say i'm still trying to save to finish renovating and and obviously having to like budget in paying for a house now and adult things so yeah i mean i'd love to be going on holiday every month but that just can't exactly happen so yeah it's nice to have like plans in even if it's just like planning to go to the cinema next week or little date nights or trips out planning to go for a picnic or making the most of the sunshine outside reading a new book like heading into town and going to my favorite coffee shop like things like that do bring me happiness and it's it's about finding the happiness in the little things in life as well as like having the big plans so yeah just focusing on finishing renovating the house also we do kind of want to plan a wedding in there as well so i guess just getting more underway with that i mean we're not really having anything too big we just want to have a really small like little intimate wedding i don't want to spend much at all but of course there still is going to have to be planning that goes into it so yeah thinking more about that house stuff and in work wise i guess just getting back on my youtube game like trying to vlog more i feel like that is a good goal actually i kind of fell off the vlogging bandwagon because although it is content i love to watch and i know everybody loves from the youtube space i just i feel like i'm really boring i just feel like my life's too boring to vlog and i get in my head about that but i want to pick up the camera more i mean i'm definitely going to vlog my holiday so that'll be on my channel i love holiday vlogs and holiday content so you can definitely expect that but yeah hold me to it i want to definitely vlog more and bring more vlogs so yeah that's definitely going to be my on my goal list to get more vlogs out to you for the rest of the year watch this space i guess but thank you guys so much for listening to me waffle on answering some of your questions thank you so much to anyone who did send one in that means so much and i do love being able to answer any little questions you have and just having big old chat and a catch up because i do love to chat away and love sipping on a good coffee chilling in my home and just being able to talk to you guys freely openly um 
finally getting back to posting a big chatty catch up vlog. So I really, really do hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there are any other videos like this you'd like to see. Just pop me a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you again so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video.